Hi, I'm Tara from Mom Knows Best, and I'm here to tell you about the Spiralizer Vegetable Spiral Slicer. This is a cool little tool that takes vegetables like carrots and zucchini and makes them into these strands of vegetables that resemble noodles. This is what the box looks like when you get it. And when you open it up, what you get inside is the spiralizer tool, which has a cap on it, which has a little pokey thing so you can put the vegetable in there so you can have better grip with it. it comes with a cleaning brush to easily clean the tool. But the fun part of this is making the spiral vegetables. Today I've got zucchini and carrots that I'm going to turn into these cool noodles that you can then cook and have veggie spaghetti with. You just simply take the vegetable, stick it inside there, and then just simply turn it. And as you're turning it, these strands come out that look like noodles. I mean, how cool is that? As I'm turning it, you can see all these cool little strands of zucchini coming out and it looks like spaghetti. That's what the zucchini looks like. Now I'll do it with the carrot. Do it with the carrot here and here's some carrot spaghetti. And the cool thing about this is you can take these vegetables, cook them, add a little sauce to them, and you've got a great gluten-free, no carb, low calorie pasta veggie, veggie pasta -y. see out comes these little strands see the zucchini did a better job of making strands but it still is making some cool pasta looking see it makes some little strands of carrot looks like carrot noodles and here's my strands of zucchini noodles and this veggie spiralizer, here's what it looks like, also comes with an ebook cookbook with full color pages to give you wonderful recipe ideas. This tool is a great way to get your kids to eat more veggies. I mean, who wouldn't want to eat carrots that look like pasta? Again, this is a spiralizer, vegetable spiral slicer. And it's just a cool, cool tool to have. You can find it on Amazon.com and look for the link in my comments. Look for the link in my comments section.